Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just quickly going to show you how I make a quick version of my chili con carne. This is an instant pot recipe. Let me show you how I make it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I have my little coffee grinder here um, that I use for spices and I have four pods and these are um, Paseo peppers. I'm going to pull the tops off and empty the seeds out. The okay. Yep. <laughs> Looks perfect. There's a couple big pieces, I'll take them out. I'm going to pop this right in. I put it on fine. This is the Mr. Coffee, and it actually works really well. And it's inexpensive. So if you're looking for a good spice grinder, this little Mr. Coffee, I think was like $14 or something on Amazon. Okay, only two chunks didn't get ground up. So I've got those peppers in there. I'm going to toss in a bay leaf. I am going to... Put in a couple palmfuls of uh, dried oregano. I'm going to put in another tablespoon of just uh, regular chili powder and oop, cumin. And I'm going to put a good teaspoon and a half. I'm making a huge mess. I just can't stop myself. Garlic powder, I'm putting in about a tablespoon. And where's the onion powder? I'm going to throw in about a teaspoon and a half of onion powder. This is beef bouillon. I've got, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of beef bouillon. And then I am going to put in one large onion. I'm not even cutting on a cutting board. Just trying to get this in. So we're having a pumpkin, adult pumpkin carving and um, chili party tonight. And I've already been making beans. Um, I'm do I like to do my beans separate than my chili. And then we serve this with avocados and a couple different kinds of cheese and sour cream. Ooh, that's a lot of onion. I wonder if this thing can handle it. We'll see. I probably got too much. This was a huge, huge onion. So I'm gonna take out a couple pieces. Okay. These don't have to be too finely cut. They are going to cook down. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to toss this in. And then I'm going to put the rest of this in. Get it chopped up. Now, normally when I make this chili, I do it on the stove top in my um, cast iron. And I cook it half the day. <laughs> and usually I cover my pieces of meat and flour and I fry them real quick. Um, I could have done them in here, but you know, I am short on time and this is the quick version. Okay, I have one can of whole tomatoes. And this was just a, a 14 ounce can. So I'm going to put that in and now I'm going to put some water in here. Oh, tomato peel probably scared me. I don't want this to be too liquidy, so I'm going to stir this up. When this is done cooking, I'll probably thicken it a little bit with um, cornstarch, but I, I'm not going to thicken it too much. I think that was a piece of hard pepper. There's another one. I kind of look out for bigger pieces. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's all that I'm going to put in here. Put my top on. I'm going to plug it in. That on close my vent and I am going to pressure cook stew meat 50 minutes I'm gonna do five minutes longer I'm gonna put this on 55 minutes I will see you when this is all done okay I've just taken my lid off I hope you've got enough light to see here. Oh, my meat is so falling apart. Yum! So I'm going to thicken this just slightly, but I want to taste the seasonings too. So I have a cup, uh, or sorry, a cup. <laughs> Not a whole cup. I have a quarter of a cup of um, um, cornstarch and about a quarter cup of water, maybe a little more. But I just put that in to thicken that. I'm gonna put this on the crock pot setting. And I'm gonna taste this to see what seasonings it needs. Hopefully you can see, I, I took my lights down because I have people coming over. Oh, hot. <laughs> okay. Needs more bouillon. Needs more bouillon and more salt. I'm going to put chicken bouillon in. For some reason, chicken bouillon to me has the best flavor. I use it for everything. I'm going to put another tablespoon in that. The, um... Seasonings are perfect. It, it is really good. It doesn't need any more seasonings. It just needs um, more bouillon and more salt. But other than that, I got big chunks of beef. And with this, you can actually um, do half beef, half pork if you like. And I'm going to kind of um, crunch the beef up a little bit in here. Just kind of smush the beef in the tomatoes. So this is more of a beefy chili rather than a tomatoey chili. And also, normally when I cook this, 
I um, put one beer in here in the beginning to cook it and I forgot. I've been really busy today. Because <laughs> I like the beer flavor when it cooks in. So, um, instead of all the water in the beginning, put a beer in. Whatever kind of beer you like or have around your house is fine. Um, if you put a really dark beer in, it will be a little bit more bitter. Just keep that in mind. I'm just kind of smooshing the beef because it's so tender it's just falling apart. But we want to be able to eat this also with corn chips. Oh, I'd love to eat this with a bunch of avocados on top, onions, and tortilla chips. Oh, that's the best. So just kind of break your meat up. I'm not, I don't want to pulverize the meat. That's why I'm not, you know, putting a couple forks in there and, or a masher. I just simply want to break it apart a little bit. And I'm going to serve this with cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack, and Cotija, and um, hot sauce. We'll probably do some guacamayo. And I have tapatio also that I like. But right now I'm kind of in love with guaca guacamaya. I eat that all the time. Oh, and sour cream. Got some of that. And I think I have some... Uh, what do you call it? Some crema also. I got a lot of stuff to serve this with, man. <laughs> Let me just taste this one more time, make sure it's got enough salt. Mmm. That is perfect. I love it. I could eat this right now. <laughs> but I am will um take pictures of when I get everything cut up but I'm gonna end the video now because my guests are going to be here soon and I don't want to be standing here filming when they get here but that is how you make a quick chili con carne in your instant pot you can do this on your stovetop but that's the seasoning mix that I use um, and I will put everything I used in the description box below um, including the beer that I forgot to put in. Um, it would taste even better had I remembered to put that beer. But I'm going to end the video here. And I'm going to upload this probably sometime next week. So I will take pictures of the food and I'll put them in at the end of this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate your support. And then ring the little bell in the corner for notifications when I have new videos come out. And when you do that, you can actually choose if you if you get notified every time a video comes out or sometimes when a video comes out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.